got dry cattle mainly, yeah. And we just buy wiener cattle and supply, I guess, our two outlets of coals and um, the feedlot, yeah. While the cattle are sort of in the middle of their stay here, I guess, and then as they get close to the end, we're sort of weighing them, you know, pretty regularly, checking teeth, mouthing, all that sort of stuff when we're preparing loads to go, obviously mouthing, and yeah, that's probably a big one that the silencer helps a lot with. Cattle that are difficult to mouth, like some cattle will mouth really easily, and you just, for whatever reason, you get the odd animal that's difficult to mouth, especially, or oral drench, you know, the, yeah, the head control that you've got with the silencer is terrific. We've still got a manual crush at our plot at Marabri. Yeah, they're just chalk and cheese. If there's any question if we've got cattle that are coming back here anyway, you know, we'd never process them on that, sort of, you know, on the other block or whatever. We'll just bring them back here because we know that the time saving is, yeah, it's worth it. Very little chance of animal getting hurt really when especially when you've got cattle that are sort of getting up there with the weight um, you know you, we just want it to be as stress-free as we can make it for them and the crush just does a fantastic job in terms of just getting them calm. As a growing family we put a pretty high price on our own time and we, I guess we find that we're pretty grateful I guess that dad invested in that really because you know if we were sort of doing that with a manual crush I'd add 40% of the time that we spend handling some of the cattle, which is, you know, when you've got kids playing sport and other stuff we want to do, fix the house up. It's, yeah, it's really important.